write a program to input the age of a person, find an output if the person is eligible to vote or not. A person is eligible to vote if they are 18 years or older. So immediately we know that there's some check involved to determine if the person is 18 years or older. Here we need to input the age of the person. So that's our input. We need to get the age. So we would say age equals int input enter age. I'll put two dots and close my two brackets. So write a program to input the age of the person. The input is now done. Now I need to determine if this age is greater than 18 years old or not, because if they are 18 years and above, they are then eligible to vote. So let's make a check. So we will see if age is greater than 18. That means the person is eligible to vote. So I am going to say print person is legible to vote. Uh, that semicolon should not be there. That's me confusing my languages. And then here we're going to say else colon. So the else part means that when the if fails, you're automatically going to go to the else. Else means print person is not eligible to vote. Right, so here we now check the age and a person is eligible to vote if they are 18 years or older. So if they are greater than 18 years, that means they are eligible to vote. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, if the user enters 18 as the age, will our condition, will this condition be true or false? So let's test it. The age is 18. Is 18 greater than 18, true or false? 18 is not greater than 18. So if the condition is false, it will go to the else and it's going to say person is not eligible to vote. So that's not correct. So we need to include 18 in this check. So the way we do that is we say, if age is greater than or equal to 18, then print the person is eligible to vote. If that condition fails, in other words, if it's 17, 16, 15, if that condition fails, it will then say person is not eligible to vote. If that condition is true from 18 onwards, 18, 19, 20, et cetera, person is eligible to vote. So let's look at what the coding would have looked like if we had typed it in our compiler. So in line one, we are inputting, we are in entering the age of the person. In line two, we make our check. And if the age is greater than or equal to 18, eligible to vote, else not eligible to vote. And this is where we did some testing. Enter the age of the person. The age of the person is 20 and the output is eligible to vote. In the second example, it's the same program. This time round, if we had to input 15, the output is person is not eligible to vote. One more case that we should look at is what happens when the person, the age entered is 18. So with this condition, remember age greater than greater than equal to 18. So if we enter 18, now it says that the person is eligible to vote. So that is correct. 
I've checked all three cases. The one case, if the person is above 18, I've checked if the person is below 18. And now I've checked if the person is equal to 18. All the cases are covered and I'm now happy that this program will work.